Welcome to Easy Elim Learning Simplified. My name is Ruth and today we are going to be learning uh, Form 2 Mathematics. Our topic for today is inequalities and we are going to be looking at compound statements. So in the previous lesson we looked at simple statements with only one like one condition but now we are going to look at compound statements and see what they are and how do we represent them in the number line. So for the compound statement is a two simple inequalities joined by and and or 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 so for example if you have uh, x is greater or equal to 3 and x is uh, that is x is less or equal to 3 and x is greater than negative 3 so how do we represent this on a number line so the first thing we do is combine the two statements into one so what we do we put x at the center i like putting the x at the center and then you make these two signs the first sign tells us x is greater, the second one is less than. So you go back to your question. x is greater than y, which is a value that is greater than x is negative 3. So you write negative 3 here. And then x is less than, it's less than 3. But it is less than or equal to 3. So that is what you have. So the values of x will range from negative 3 to 3. So you draw that in a number line. So we said x is greater than negative 3, so it starts from here. And x is less than 3, so it goes up to 3. So the next thing is our circles. So for the negative 3, it's not part of x, so we are just going to use a, a circle that is not filled. And then for 3 is part of it. So we are going to use a filled circle. So the values of x are in between 3 and negative 3. But negative 3 is not part of it. So let's do a few questions on the same and see how we interpret the compound statements. So x is greater than negative 6 and x is less than 3. So again, I said you write x. And you put these two sides for greater than and less than. And then now we interpret the question. X is greater than, in our statement, we said X is greater than negative 6. So we write negative 6 here. And X is less than 3. So the values of X range from negative 6 to 3. So we draw that in a number line. So negative 6 starts from here to negative 3, which is here. So our values are going to range in this, um, in between here. And if you look at our statement, there is no equal sign. So it means our negative 6 is not part of the values of x. Neither is our 3 part of the values of x. But all the values in between. All the values in between uh, negative 6 and 3 are actually, can be x. Any value in between there can be x. Let's do another question. So we have x is greater than negative 4 and x is less than 2. So we will combine that by doing this. So x is greater, it's here, is greater than negative 4. And x is less or equal to 2. So our values will range from negative 4 to 2. So you draw a number line. So values start from negative 4 and they go up to 2. And for negative 4, negative 4 does not form part of x. So we are going to draw a circle, but it's not filled. And then for 2, because there's an equal sign, it has a shaded. Now we shade it because it's part. It's part. It's part of the values of x. So the values of x will range from any number above negative 4 and below 2. 
basically, or in between. And then now we have decimal places. So this is x is less than 0 0.5 and x is greater than 0. So we do that, what we did before x, we drew these two signs. So x is greater than 0, but x is less than 0 0.5. So we would draw that, but now we can use decimals. So you can have 0 0.5, uh, 1, 1.5. And then this side, you can have negative 0 0.5, negative 1, negative 1.5. So our x is greater than, than 0, so it's from here, but less than 0 0.5. So our distance is only this small distance. And x, 0 is not part of it, so we will draw a circular that is not filled. And 0 0.5 also is not part of it. So our numbers range from 0 to 0 0.5, any numbers in between. But 0 and 0 0.5 are not part of those numbers. Right. Let's do another question. Negative 0 0.75 is then less than x and x is uh, less than or equal to 0 0.75 so x is greater so you can see this question has already been interpreted for you so the values of x are going to range from you can go ahead and and you notice that if you compare what you are doing before is basically what has already been done for you x is greater than 0 0.75 negative 0 0.75 and is less than 0 less than or equals to 0 0.75 so we will need that so let's make our our decimals to be even smaller so we are going to use a distance of 0 0.25 in our number line so 0 then 0 0.25 then 0 0.5, then 0 0.75, and then 1. The same case, negative 0 0.25, negative 0 0.5, negative 0 0.75, neg negative 1. So our values, x is greater than 0 0.75, so it's here. And it's less than or equals to 0 0.75 so it comes up to here show you as is a straight line so 0 0.75 is part of the numbers values of x but negative 0 0.75 is not so we leave it open so all the values of x will range between 0 0.75 and negative 0 0.75 of course excluding negative 0 0.75 so you can see it doesn't really matter even if you have all numbers or decimal places, you can be able to get uh, the number line to show. And finally, let's do uh, at least two questions from this and then you'll do the rest. So the first question is x is greater than 2, x is less than 5. So you put x, x is greater than 2 and it's less than 5. So if you show that in the number line, 1, 2, 3, four five six then we have negative one and negative two so x is greater than two but less than five so we are working with this distance in between so none of them are part of x so we are going to fill them with circles that are not filled so the value of x is in between two and five but not two and not five and then we can do uh, negative ones. We can do this question and then you do the rest. So we we'll draw x like this. So x is greater or equals to negative 3. So we put the greater and then x is less or equals to negative 1. So you we'll draw that. So this is negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4 negative 5 so we have been told x is greater than negative 3 so negative 3 and less than negative 1 so the distance is just in between here so negative 3 is part of x x can be negative 3 and x also can be negative 1 because you can see the equal sign so x can be any values between negative 3 and negative 1
So that's it. Uh, you can do the rest of the three questions remaining and try to represent those compound statements in your number line. So you can also get more revision questions in the app and more notes on the same. See you in the next lesson.